Alright, and we are back, and with more Mass Effect Andromeda, and so now, finally, finally we will be going to the Nexus. We're finally going back to the Nexus. So let's use our galaxy map. So let's get out of here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Starting to get the hang of it. Okay. Nexus. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> this one doesn't seem to be lagging too much this time. It's cool because we have quite a few things to do on the Nexus, so yes, confirm. So that'll be interesting to wrap a few things up, get acquire a few new missions, go check on the sleeping bro, and uh, with our new customization, and to uh, check out quite a few things. So, and lots of people to talk to. Is there gonna be another load screen? Are we, or is this it? We're on the Nexus. After after all that time, say, let's go back to the Nexus, and then... Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne? Certainly. The initiative's finally back on track. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieved with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. August Bradley will oversee that. He's the new mayor. Bradley? I know him. Seems like a good man. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. Well, that was an interesting direction. <laughs> all right, so let's see. Yeah, after all that time saying, let's do, let's go back to the Nexus, and finally we can't. And we're like, oh yeah, I forgot to do this, forgot to do that. Don't, oh. don't shove the crate off the, <laughs> you shove the crate off the ramp. Where do they find these people? Yeah, where, seriously, where do they find these people? Keeping tabs on things back here? Yeah, I try to watch what's going on while we're away, but it's nice to check in person. Shore leave is for relaxation. Take some time off. Get a massage. Can Tyrians even get massages? <laughs> sort of. We get vibrations through the carapace with a hammer. Uh, not for me. I'm fine, just people watching. <laughs> Vibrations, <laughs> eh? How may I assist? That's all. It has been my pleasure. Hi, I'm Jan Garson, founder of the all right, let's see here. So, cultural center. Yeah, there's that. There are a few people to uh, hydroponics. Find spender on the nexus. 
Hmm. Well. All right. Looks like there's Spender here. Looks like everything else is in other sections. Okay. Turians are a highly disciplined race who value service to others. No one places personal needs ahead of the greater whole. Public works serve as a focal point of our society. We believe it's our duty to better our species. Where do you come from? Turians live on a planet known as Power. The atmosphere's weak magnetic field shaped our evolution into the life form you see today. Our signature carapace, the hard exterior shell we see on Tyrians, is actually metal. It protects us from the intense rays of power and sun. What's Turian history like? The history of my people is proof that peace eventually wins out. Disagreements among species turned into lasting friendships. When Turians first met humans, there was a misunderstanding between us that could have had disastrous consequences. But with patience and restraint, humans and Turians eventually joined together in a mutually beneficial partnership. We look forward to doing the same in Andromeda. The pleasure of meeting you has been mine, one that I hope other Turians will soon enjoy. The Nexus is a place of friendship and cooperation. Glad you could visit. Don't hesitate to speak with one of our <laughs> What's that supposed to be? They're happy to answer any questions they have and eager to learn more about your own culture. Or something else. Hmm. We'll see. Okay. Of course you are. We may not scare you, but don't let that worry you. It comes from living on a harsh world. We're a species that knows how to thrive, even under the worst conditions. Where do you come from? An ugly rock called Tachanka. No sense lying. It's not a planet most people want to visit. We have predators, nasty weather, and not much else. But it gave us our identity. Forced us to adapt and evolve. Everything about us is built for survival. I thought it was three. Oh well. What's Krogan history like? Welcome, native of Andromeda. My people are known as Asari, 
It would be my pleasure to tell you about our kind. Okay. Very well. Asari are the oldest civilized race in the Milky Way galaxy. Among my people, diplomacy and cooperation are prized over war or conflict. Where do you come from? Asari come from a planet known as Thessia, which many consider the crown jewel of the Milky Way. It's a thriving world blessed with prosperity and peace, and the center of the largest economy in the galaxy. With the high concentration of element zero on Thessia, Asari evolved powerful bionic abilities. It is considered a hallmark of our species. What's Asari history like? Thousands of years ago, we played an important role in founding the Citadel Council, the seat of government for our home galaxy. In the ensuing centuries, Asari placed great value on cooperation and collaboration. Many species looked to us for leadership and guidance. Due to our lifespan, sometimes reaching 1,000 years of age, we are patient in our decisions and prefer long-term solutions over short-term gains. Farewell. We look forward to forging new bonds with our friends in Andromeda. The wisdom you share is our reward. I didn't notice for the other ones, but they're showing like a backdrop of the home planet. It's like... Yeah. Look at we have a ship here. Here with the unknown. We have something here. This is probably something from Tuchanka. Human VI. Hello there. I'm a human being. If you'd like to know more about my people, just ask. Okay. Good to hear. Humanity is a diverse species. <laughs> you may notice different skin colors or religious beliefs among our people. Yet we don't let those differences come between us. We'd rather celebrate our diversity rather than fight over it. Where do you come from? Humans come from a planet called Earth. It's a beautiful blue world with everything from oceans to jungles, snowy mountain peaks to deserts. It's also an oasis of biological diversity. Scientists calculate Earth contains nearly 9 million unique animal and plant species. What's human history like? Humanity is a young people compared to many of the other Milky Way races. We didn't discover spaceflight until much later. But what we lack in age, we make up for with enthusiasm and a pioneer spirit. We'd like to think we can teach our fellow travelers a few new tricks. That's the spirit. I'm glad you stopped by. Next time you see a human, ask about ice cream. It's one of the many great things we bring to Andromeda. <laughs> Do you have any uh, coconut ice cream <laughs> in Andromeda? Greetings, inhabitant of Andromeda. I'm a Solarian. I'd be pleased to tell you more about my species. Okay. Solarians are considered among the brightest scientific minds of the Milky Way. We're known for our quick thinking, technological savvy, and intellectual powers of deduction. Where do you come from? Solarians originate from a world known as Rakesh. It's a tropical planet covered with oceans and rainforests. As an amphibious species, we're at home in Rakesh's lush jungles. But with our technological advancements, we can adapt to nearly any environment. We look forward to studying the wonders of Andromeda and the rich diversity our galaxy has to offer. What's Solarian history like? Cooperating with the Asari, we were the second species in the Milky Way to help form a galactic government, the Citadel Council. From time to time, we also guided other species, such as the Krogan, to better channel their natural gifts towards worthy pursuits. It's our belief that the careful application of science and intellect is the key to improving the quality of life for all. It's been my pleasure. Rest assured, the people of Andromeda have nothing to fear from Solarians. Don't hesitate to speak with one of our friendly people. This is an outpost for Milky Way colonists arriving in your galaxy. They come seeking a fresh start in Andromeda, yearning only for a land they can call home. If you encounter an outpost, feel free to drop by and say hello. Your new neighbors are eager to make friends. Hello.
I welcome you to the cultural center. Please have a look around. Hello there, people. I'm Jane Garson, the founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I thought I'd like to hear more about our plans. Okay. Great. If you're seeing this, it means our Pathfinders have done their job and made new friends in the galaxy. Welcome to the Nexus. But I want to put your mind at ease. Seeing our arcs arrive in your neighborhood probably raised some concerns. I'm happy to address them. What are you planning to do in this galaxy? Great question. I'd be worried about that too. I can assure you, we have no hostile intentions whatsoever. We're pilgrims who simply want to live in peace. We're eager to learn about new cultures, new ideas, and share our own with you. But we understand trust needs to be earned, no matter what galaxy you're in. And the initiative looks forward to doing just that. Why did you leave the Milky Way? <laughs> I get that question a lot. Many of us have a deep curiosity that needs to know what else is out there. Our own Milky Way is just one tiny speck in a universe full of mysteries. And speaking for myself, the thought of exploring those mysteries in Andromeda was a call to adventure I could not resist. Thank you for taking the time to listen. On behalf of my fellow Milky Way travelers, we couldn't be more excited about what the future holds for all of us. Welcome to the Cultural Exchange Center. Please have a look around. We're just getting... Pathfinder, I'm glad you could stop by. Pardon the dust while we set everything up. How did you get this job? I was a sociologist in the Milky Way. While there were plenty of cultures to study, the books on them had all been written. There was nothing new I could add. So when I heard about the initiative, I signed up right away. The idea of meeting new people, seeing how they've evolved, adapted to life's challenges, I couldn't resist. What goes on here? The Cultural Center is a place where new races we've met can visit and exchange ideas. They can learn more about the Milky Way species, while we foster an air of cooperation and understanding. We're just getting everything ready. Hopefully it won't be long before we have our first visitors. Have you heard anything about the cat? Unfortunately, yes. Now, that's a species we won't be inviting here anytime soon. I'd hoped our encounters would be peaceful, but I suppose that was too much to ask. Thanks. Of course, our hope is that you'll make friends in the cluster and send them our way. And when you have a second, check back with me on a favor I'd like to ask. Then why not ask it right away? Pathfinder, do you have a moment? We, uh, need to explain you. Explain me? Our new VI over there is meant to describe the role of our Pathfinders, but it just lost all its settings in a crash. If you could fix them, that would really help us out. Just talk to the VI, and it'll do the rest. Thanks. Of course. This is Ark Hyperion, one of several ships that made the long voyage from the Milky Way galaxy to Andromeda. The thousands of colonists aboard have come in peace, united by their dream of a better life in your beautiful galaxy. You need not fear their arrival. We are all citizens of the universe, eager to be your friend. This is a place of friendship and cooperation. We're glad you could visit. Aha, so this is what this is. Welcome to the setup of your Pathfinder informational PI. I am programmed with all relevant data. However, you must identify which information I should prioritize. First, select your preferred voice and appearance, male or female. Female, please. Very well said. Which aspect of the Pathfinder's role should be highlighted? Exploration and discovery or first contact with new species? Me 
breeding new species. Very well said. Next, should I emphasize the role of the Pathfinder team or their partner AI? Go with the Pathfinder's team. Very well said. Finally, should I provide career advice to future Pathfinders or an honor of former Pathfinders? List the former Pathfinders. It all sounds good to me. Thank you for choosing this Pathfinder information, Dia. Implementing changes. Don't hesitate to speak with one of our friendly peace ambassadors. They're happy to answer any questions you may have. Hello. And are eager to learn this more about the This display describes our Pathfinder. The initiative Elite Explorers. Tell me about Pathfinders. Pathfinders are one of the first to encounter new species, making them first contact ambassadors, as well as explorers. They work hard to ensure everyone knows the initiative is peaceful. How does someone usually become a Pathfinder? Tough job. Do Pathfinders have help? Each Pathfinder has a team of talented specialists, drawn from multiple backgrounds and species. If you see a Pathfinder on your travels, be sure to say hello. I'm Jean Garza, founder of the Initiative. On behalf of the Nexus, I welcome you to the Cultural Center. Please have a look around. We hope you'll enjoy learning about the rich diversity of people who have arrived from the Milky Way Galaxy. Wouldn't it be more practical to build these vaults from the surface? Pathfinder Rider? Rack my engineers mastered underground construction a millennium ago. These remnant fellows probably have the same idea. Minus that thermometer reading help. Hello, Pathfinder. A moment. What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the scourge. Perhaps random noise. Perhaps not. Sam likes new experiences. It'll be an opportunity to encounter math homework. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into Sam node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. Sure glad I went to school for this. What's the trouble? I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't rely for me find the course. Oh, well, you, you're the Pathfinder. Hey, sorry, please ignore me. You've got way more important things to do. Power to the next is pretty important. I'm happy to help. That, that's great, because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping all over the place. 
The Pathfinder's eye might reveal something. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. Just when I've balanced the air mix, another Yahoo has to come wandering through. Aren't you the Pathfinder? Dr. Camden, head of hydroponic sciences. Mind the seedlings. Are you always this rude to people walking in? Only when a mistake could kill everyone on the Nexus. What do you mean? <sighs> Hydroponics is our air, food and water. A frail green line between us and oblivion. We almost lost it all during the mutiny. Now it's my responsibility. If you welcomed people, you'd have more hands to keep everything running. <laughs> Quite astute. If you'll forgive me, perhaps I could begin with you. I need samples of Andromeda's plant life. Our own specimens should acclimatize to them. Bring me any plants you find. You'll have a bounty in return, and my thanks. Pathfinder. your tone. You saw what happened to the Krogan. But we need... Your incompetence isn't my problem. Just do your job. What do you want? Whatever's going on, it's not fair to take it out on me. <sighs> Apologies, you're right. This is not your fault. I haven't heard much good about that guy. Whatever you've heard, it's not half as bad as the reality. Just last week, 
He tried to redirect some of the supplies we need to keep the stasis pods going. Why? I have no idea. But if Kesh hadn't stepped in and threatened to airlock him, it would have been a disaster. He's always like that. Making bad decisions, driving the Krogan away, treating people like scum when no one's watching. Maybe there's something I can do. A man like that's bound to have some dirt. I wish Tan and Addison could see it. Things have gotten so bad that Kesh had to literally kick him out of engineering. How literal are we talking here? Boot to ass. Oh, it was glorious. We need him gone, but as incompetent as Spender is at his job, he's insanely good at keeping it. Kesh can tell you more. That's pretty literal. <laughs> Looks like I was going the wrong way again. Oh la la. related to cherry-like fruit brought back from Habitat 7 as authorities baffled. Multiple passengers are still in quarantine. This is HNS. Yeah, I don't think that fruit was edible. Just, just a thought. Just a theory. You know, let's not eat anything that's too unknown. What could go wrong? find anything to help my case an enemy blast to the back killed the chief your shot missed what you you're kidding me thank the spirits this is great hold on there the chief's omni tool recorded you over the body sam play back sorry old friend had to do it i'm not dying on this rock shit not only did you think you killed him, you meant to. But you just said I didn't, so it doesn't matter, right? The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. I'm going to tan, and I might have a different opinion. You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent, plain and simple. We'll see about that. Thank you. 
roster for important updates. How many times have I told you this story? 343. Wait, what? You've been keeping count? <laughs> Rushan, that's not funny. Superintendent Cash reminds everyone all power grid adjustments must be approved beforehand. Dell told me you saw her arguing with Spender. Pijak's doing his best to throttle my department. How's he getting away with that? Spender doesn't know the first thing about engineering, but he knows how to play people. More importantly, he still talks to the Exiles. I'm sure of it. I just can't prove it without your help. This needs to be investigated. I'm glad someone thinks so. Talk to Kandros. He likely has security footage, some kind of evidence. But you'll have to convince him to authorize release. Nothing more for now. Later. All personnel, be aware of any suspicious activity. Security is on heightened alert. Pathfinder, I believe you found the culprit responsible for the power shortages. Alert Professor Herrick to come secure it. Ryder, can you believe this place? One space station slightly dented? You should have seen it a year ago. It was more than just dented. Anyway, thanks for bringing me on. Tan can't kick me off the station now, and it's been nice seeing my granddaughter again. The two of you seem close. It's been Kesh and me against the galaxy the moment I got her. Well, maybe not as much now, but it sure was early on. <laughs> Glitch, I just walked right through it. isn't what we wanted, but what choice do we have? How the hell should I know? Spender, you have a job. If you want to keep it, do it. God damn it. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. <laughs> You're kidding? Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. 
How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and the general stability, a metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. So I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things. A lines of support. You can't deploy an omelette without first deploying eggs. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people, and how all our lives begin. All right, Brekka. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. Yes, Pathfinder? How are we doing on the viability front? Struggling. Need I remind you that viability isn't abstract. It's lives, our foothold. Get out there, Ryder. Pathfind. We're dying. I have info on a specific sleeper I'd like brought out of cryo. I want to avoid that entirely. For reasons. Reasons. That's it? Look. You're the Pathfinder. If you've a request for your extended team, that's a request you can make. Access the sleeper records through Brecker's console. It's none of my business. Until you make it a problem for me. Understood? Superintendent Cash reminds everyone. Hello again, Pathfinder. What's the deal with your assistant? He's a bit... Spender is an ass. That's one way of putting it. I'm aware that he holds certain prejudices, but so does Tan, and we've limited personnel to draw from. Get us more outposts, maybe that changes. Having people like him around doesn't do your department any favors. Personality problems are pretty far down my give-a-shit list. How has the Nexus reacted to the foothold I've established? We send them where you signal, because that's where the need is. There's no time for preference. Director Addison. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, AVP leveling continues as per your directions. And of course, the interface remains accessible for any future adjustments. Sweet protocol and process. Now we are living. Why'd you join the initiative? I was a teacher. A good life. I could see the positives and negatives right through to the end. You did the math and it said come to Andromeda? <laughs> no. I just didn't like being able to see the end. Here, I don't have a clue what tomorrow will bring. 
feels more like living. Yes, Pathfinder. What's your take on the state of the initiative? Please consult the AVP interface. It has a thorough breakdown of your progress. And your personal opinion? Your progress thrills me. Make my job obsolete, Pathfinder. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that guy's attitude, it's funny. I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. That's it? You'll just do it? Nowhere in my job description does it say, argue with the Pathfinder. That said, I record all interactions. If something you ask for causes trouble, there'll be no doubt that you're responsible. I heard that the chief engineer on EOS went back into cryo. There have been a few such requests. The first few months in Helios were... disheartening. Now that Prodromos is on track, I want her redeployed. Chief Engineer Grace Lito, designation E-97 Durango. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Why do some colonists have a number letter designation? All initiative members do. In the CV file somewhere, anyway. It isn't relevant when everyone is doing everything. I suppose it's like uh, caring about a middle name. Do you not know yours? I wasn't aware I had one. Hmm. You were in select company even before you were made Pathfinder. Rider Pathfinder, specialist designation A03 Malapa. Hmm. Something interesting? An A. And low odds. Mm, someone's an early adopter. I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. Let's keep this between us. Here's the info. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Another time. Pathfinder. Pathfinder, do you have just a minute? Hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. Director Tan loved the first broadcast, sent a contribution for your expenses. Thanks. Hmm. Let's get to the juicy stuff. Scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. My team and I surveyed EOS thoroughly, and even stopped the storms. The rest is up to the outpost, but the old threats are gone. Hopefully they can handle any new ones. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. But footage of that remnant vault is sealed. Can we get the model? Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. 
Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend. A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. He'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ket are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. Thank you, Director. I'll get on it. May you light the torch that finds the path. Pathfinder... Ugh. Right. And if Cassandra is there... This is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your brother, sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Medbay. Will do. <laughs> a reminder, you have AVP outstanding. Right. Have to talk to Addison's assistant about viability perks. Sounds useful. If Cassandra were there, she would have gone... Ugh. Their typical way. He pulled a unbearable joke.
whole mood of the Nexus has changed since Eos. You really can feel it. New outpost, a Pathfinder's help, people waking up. It's a fresh start. Can't relax yet. The Initiative still has a lot of promises to keep. And that's on us. But it's damn good to know we're on the right track. A reminder to all personnel over... Time hours remain in effect. You've had a year to think about it. It's the Scourge, Director Tan. Its origin defies all known explanation. How? We've brought all that equipment along. And the Tempest's readings are helping, but we've just scratched the surface. The history of the Initiative cannot show that we were defeated by a space cloud. Some things are bigger than we are. I will not accept that excuse. This is science, and your merry band over there are scientists, aren't they? Figure it out. Goodbye, Director. Ryder, you're off to a promising start. I meant what I said. You are a symbol now of hope that things will get better. Do I worry about this terraforming network? What do we really know about it? It's like nothing we've ever seen. It's clear somebody had big plans for this cluster. But who? Not sure yet, but at least we're on the trail. Did you have some other business? Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. I hear you. It sucks when things aren't black and white. Are they ever? <sighs> if we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? That's a tough one. So, <clears throat> moral issue here. Technically, he's innocent. So the moral thing to do would be to free him, but then he was acting immorally because he was trying to kill the dude. That's not right, man. Ugh. Yeah, choices. Gray choices. Always oh, complex. Hmm. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what to do myself, and I'm not sure what the outcome would be as the Pathfinder, see, like, it's one thing, it's like, okay, he didn't commit a murder, okay, so, and maybe he changed his mind along the way, you know, like, redeeming someone, you know, and I always believe someone is redeemable, but then, as the Pathfinder, what does that mean for the future of the Pathfinder? You know, I'll, I'll go with the redeemable option. And if something goes wrong, with then that's on me. I didn't check spoilers for this, so I really do not know. But with the redeemable option, see, with the exile option, it's like, I'm hard on the case, you know. But with the redeemable option, it's, the evidence speaks for itself, I uncovered the truth, and I'm giving the guy a chance. But then if he goes back on that chance that I'm giving him and he means to harm someone again, then that's it, you know, type thing. As the Pathfinder, I have to protect the people. So I think I'll go with that. It was crazy down there, life and death. But his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom-line type of person. I hope we don't regret it. All right, so be it. 
He will do community service for his role in the chaos. But he's a free man. Well, at least we'll have the sordid business behind us. I hope I don't regret that either. <laughs> Something I can help you with? That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. <laughs> Thanks for allowing me to just waste your time by seeing by asking if you could talk. <laughs> you don't. Colonial Affairs, please advise Speaking Director of Tan of your status. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny. We had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. You know what they say. It's not paranoia. If someone is out to get to you, yeah. Third time this week. It's getting worse. First one was small stuff. This one could have hurt bad if I'd been closer. That's not good. Sorry. Understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Whoever's doing this has to be stopped before someone gets seriously hurt. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm an engineer, not a PI. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait! That's it! You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Just send me the data when you're done. Apex personnel, please check your duty no, roster. No, no, I'm fine. Update. And I don't, I don't know. It, it just blew up. Find out why. Be careful. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Any logistics updates are due within the hour.
Gotta do both. Glad to see you finally. I hear you've been busy out there. That's one word for it. If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I was told I should talk to you about the mutiny. I wasn't on the Nexus when it happened. I started reading up on it, but... You know how things get around here. Do you know where Spender was during that time? Why Spender? Wait, you think he might have had something to do with the mutiny? Maybe. Just trying to sort things out. You know, the logs I did look through showed a few discrepancies. I meant to dig deeper. If you're investigating, how about I give you access to the security vid archives? Thank you. Anything else? Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Weekly. One bar brawl, participants arrested. Hey, Ryder, I'd like a moment. Yes? Lieutenant Syax, right? That's me. I'm putting together Apex strike teams to protect the people and assets you're setting up out there. We don't have a good sense of what we're up against and could benefit from your experience. There's no replacement for first-hand experience. I agree. But your insights on the assholes out there would really help. You'll see. Apex will make a difference. Tracking enemy activity. Zones 2, 12, 19. Apex team leaders reporting back. Apex personnel, please check your duty roster for important updates. Tracking enemy activity. Apex leaders notified. you. Well, not all about you, but the important bits. I should probably get back to work. It was real nice meeting you, though. What work do you do here? Oh, I just monitor comms from colonists. Progress updates, hazards encountered. Note it down, pass on a report to Sean at the end of the day. Important job. I know. It's nice to hand in a report and have someone say I helped. I'll let you get back to work. A reminder to all personnel, overtime hours remain in effect. What the heck did I write here? I can't read my own writing. Pathfinder? Wow. I'm Davis Carr, Helios News Service. Maybe you've heard my voice over the vids. I'm trying to file a story right now, but hey. H&S, huh? Where are the rest of you? I had an editor. But it's crazy out here. Now, beyond a freelancer or two, I'm it. All that stands between freedom and tyranny, or something. I haven't had much sleep. <laughs> Happens to me a lot to not be able to read what I wrote. Who pays for you to do this? Technically, HS is an arm of the initiative, but we serve the public, not them. Sometimes the higher-ups try and tell us what to broadcast, TAN especially, but we decide what to run and how to run it. It causes friction, but at least I can live with myself. 
Were you a journalist back in the Milky Way? I was. Sort of. Only had a couple internships under my belt. Good places, though. The New Star Chronicle even sent me to Mars for a week. The plan was just to work as a reporter out here. Then the uprising happened. We got a little too close. My editor was killed. Tan blamed our broadcasts for stirring unrest. It was bullshit. Now all I want to do is keep going. I met another journalist, Carrie Tavessa. Yeah, we're running Carrie's series, Path of a Hero. Good stuff. I'm mostly on my own, so pretty much anyone who brings me news is welcome. Content is king, and her content is really touching a nerve. It must be difficult to set up a broadcast from scratch. No, it's easy. Beyond the lack of staff, resistant authorities, and constant technical glitches. Still, I'm getting there. May have an honest-to-goodness source in Nexus security, if she ever calls me back. Who's your source? No journalist worth their salt will ever give that up. Talk to you later, Davis. Hey, Ryder, before you go, I hate to ask, but it seems like your job takes you all over, the places we can't broadcast yet. If I send receivers to your ship, would you mind placing them on some planets? It'll help get news out to even the most far-flung colonists. What do you need from me, exactly? I'm digging up good stories here, but not a lot of people beyond the Nexus can hear them. Our long-distance transmitter sends package data between ships, and even planet side, provided there's a receiver on the other end. I need someone to place receivers and boost our signal. We only have a few, so they need to go on planets with people. <laughs> no kidding. I'll just put them on deserted planets. <laughs> okay, Davis. I'll help you get set up. Great. Just place a receiver near an outpost, and they'll get our reports. Huh. This file won't play. Sam, can you boost the quality? Processing. Playback initiated. Wait. Is he handing something over to one of the mutineers? Take this. It'll help you. Don't think. I am sorry, Pathfinder. This backup file is corrupted. The audio tracks are heavily degraded. Someone may have deleted the original, and this version was restored during a system-wide reset. Sounds like a cover-up to me. I can... While I cannot restore any more audio, the location appears to be Kodara. How do you figure? In common parlance. Lip reading. I do not recognize the location from any current data. It appears mountainous and populated. We will need to find the planet before I can confirm. I will contact you via my node. Let's go. Confront Spender. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. I can't believe it. You're free. Oh, Pathfinder, we have you to thank. Yes. I'm glad you did the right thing, Ryder. Make sure you control yourself better in the future, Nelkin. What? What does she mean by that, love? I'll tell you later. Let's just get home.
sure once I've scanned it what I'm supposed to do I guess I need to follow this huh but then okay so this heads upstairs Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Okay, so that's what I need to do at the other site. Ah, makes, makes sense. Now I get it. I get it. Okay. So let's go! Let's go to the other place and check it out. Or was it again? Am I going the right way? Oh, of course, I'm going the wrong way. It's to be expected. Obviously. Obviously. You know, I knew that. You and Rosie knew that. But she couldn't tell me, of course. Of course. Okay, so that goes up here, there, that way, oh, that goes up there, oh, that leads to here. Pathfinder, I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. Huh. <laughs> Okay, let's go confront her. Mutiny went as well as you'd expect. So much violence. Then, after nearly destroying the station, the Krogan asked for more power? Good riddance. Ryder, is it? William Spender. Apologies if we met before. I meet a lot of people running Colonial Affairs. Running Colonial Affairs? I thought you were the Assistant Director. That's right. Assistant to Addison. So we know who does all the real work. From what I've heard, your hands are pretty dirty. I saw the footage. You were handing something off. What footage? From Gavorkum? Routine business meeting. Whoever you're talking to clearly has an axe to grind. And frankly, a Pathfinder shouldn't be wasting time on a witch hunt. You'd be wise to let this be. We're done here. 
Okay. <laughs> As more sleepers wake with it, need for a drink. I like that. Definitely. If I were a sleeper, I wake up. Where's my De Sorono? For you. Is there a problem? Your father is my problem. He's everyone's problem. We're all paying for Alec Ryder's ego. He preyed on Jean Garson's trusting nature and bulldozed us to this godforsaken place. Now she's dead and will all soon follow. Hey, my dad died for this dream. He was trying to fix things for all of us. Some dream. He fixed us all right. Go to hell, Pathfinder. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omnitool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Kellis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Pattles. A third party seems likely. Looks like someone is using both you and Raj to cover their tracks. They'd need pretty high-level access for that. Still, it's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. Pathfinder? What about your family? I'm an orphan. My parents died on the Mindoir colony when it was attacked years ago. No siblings. I left some friends and distant relatives behind. But I have friends here too. 
I love piloting. But I like the idea of going back to my roots and farming like my parents did. Someday. How do you feel about all this, now that we're here? Hopeful. I know, it's a rose-colored outlook, but... Someone's gotta keep the positivity coming, right? Why did you join the Initiative? Ah, the most popular question on the station. Honestly, I wouldn't have known about this project if Nozomi hadn't reached out to me. Nozomi? Captain Dunn. Of all the captains I've piloted for, she's the best. I've always been a wanderer at heart. When she asked me to be her pilot, how could I say no to the adventure of a lifetime? Have to go now. See you later. Good luck. Ryder. You're not on the bridge, Captain? We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. And I told them to keep their hands off Alex quarters. You have access now. Thanks. Hey, sorry about your father. He was really good at what he did. Just not so good at working with people. He was right about going planetside, though. I wish he were still here. There's so much he could have taught me. You'll do fine. You're off to a good start. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. Will you be bringing Hyperion folks out of stasis? That's my job. We're keeping it to specific personnel for now. Those who can help the Nexus get back on its feet. But with outpost settlement starting, we'll soon be able to wake up more. If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster even five years ago... Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the Quadrant. Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. Why did you join the Initiative? We're a long way from home. How could I not? I love my job. Coming here, all this, it was just a logical extension of what I already do. Sailing through new stars, discovering new worlds. What self-respecting explorer could pass that up? Thanks for the talk. All right. I have requests to submit, administrators to harass, and people to wake up. I'd better get to it. Good luck out there. Your father's personal logs. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you. Needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like.
Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Dr. Aradon at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Hey, what the... Sam? Delicious code detected. Please stand by. Sam? Attempting to countermand Delicious code. Please stand by. Is there anything I can do? Sam? Is that another malfunction or... Sam? You trying to show me something? Wait, wrong order. Wait, wrong order. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, I think I got it. Sam, talk to me. Hello, Pathfinder. Please initialize the console to restore normal operations. Sam, what happened? The equations contained a Trojan horse program, a virus, specifically targeted to sever our connection and render me helpless. Reconnecting would be impossible. How do you feel? Are you okay? I cannot feel pain. However, I would avoid repeating the experience which is the purpose of pain in organic life. Unlock the door. Let's head to the tech lab and see what Dr. Aradana has to say. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Ellen. What did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow, hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM. Simulated, adaptive, matrix. 
Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other Sams out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced Sam in the initiative. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. You removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything? Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. Do you know anything more about Scott's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlisle's reports. He is providing Scott with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What did he mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. That's all for now. Of course. Printed books? Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. Your father's personal logs. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. Species are at odds as talks break down over a unified curriculum for initiative kids. The Asari say they'll wait it out until demands are met. This 
is Agent S. <laughs> Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were gonna start families out here together. I have a pendant our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... Reunite them. Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Oi, Pathfinder. Today has not been a good day. Where's that? A large shipment of medical supplies intended for Prodromus was intercepted by those damned exiles. Scouts confirmed they've divvied the supplies up among their own outposts. I'll see what I can do about reclaiming them. That would be great. Thanks. Maybe when you come across them assholes, you can rectify all this. Harry, what's happening with Scott? Well, we got him out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to, uh, find him, you might say. I don't follow. Well, he's still in a coma, but he also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. That's incredible. He's okay? Vitals are steady. But I'm letting Sam take the lead on this one. Though in a coma, Scott's mental processes remain intact. So is he okay? You can ask yourself. A moment while I establish a link with his implant. Proceed. Scott? Can you hear me? Is that you, sis? I don't understand. What's happening? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma, on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Wow, really? How are we talking? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. Guess I'll take your word for it. I can't feel anything, but I still hear you. Is Dad okay? I'm not sure how to say this, but he's dead, Scott. What? There was an accident. What do you mean? Accident? How? I mean, dead? I know. It was all very sudden. Nothing anyone could do. I don't believe it. I'm sure he'd want to be here now. Did we at least find home? Dad kept talking about how amazing it would be. There's been some complications. The Golden Worlds didn't exactly deliver. I don't understand. I thought... Scott? This is... This is all wrong. This... is a nightmare. Scott, it's okay. I, I didn't mean to. His pulse rate is increasing rapidly. I don't feel well. 
that's enough for now. He needs to rest. Scott. I just want it to be truthful. Oh no! Well, and he thinks it's a nightmare. If I would have lied, then maybe when he'd wake up, he'd be like, You lied! So, for it to be truthful. Anyway, what's this way? Oh, more cryopods. Ooh, feels cold. Maybe it's a thousand degrees below zero. <laughs> like in my blooper. Sure you want to do this, Nilkin? I am. It's for the best. What's for the best? I'm putting Nilkin here back into stasis. The conviction was overturned, but everyone still treats me like a murderer. When Mariette heard the truth, she left me. I just want to go to sleep and wake up when things are blown over. Sure. Run away from your problems. A fitting end. Ryder, that was a hell of a thing talking to your brother in a coma. Can't say I really bought into the whole Sam implant, but well, that was pretty amazing. That was. I had no idea we could do that. Just when you think you've seen it all. And here, a 600-year trip to a new galaxy seemed like science fiction. Something new every day. That's all, Harry. Thanks. I'll be here if you need me. And those people just stand by, just looking, listening in at the conversation, and then... And then they're like, okay, yeah. Back for a visit? That's all, Harry. Thanks. I'll be here if you need me. I'll be here if you need me. A lot of people say that. Alright. Time to go back to other places. It's like, why would someone want to sabotage Sam? So, we need to go figure that out. I need to find the saboteur. It's like a big brother twist. There's a saboteur! Okay, so is it... Duggan Bay? Habitation deck? Hmm. Where is it? Anyway, let's go to the different areas and re-explore! As sleepers wake from stasis, the initiative originally requires blood, tissue, and DNA donations. If you think you may be eligible, this is HNS. This is HNS. Thank you, HNS. Okay, no, not here. I just came from here. To go back and forth, back and forth, just to hear the, just to hear the H and S. Construction and repairs continue on various parts of the Nexus. Authorities have no word on completion and remind visitors to avoid affected areas. ETA unknown. This is H and S. <laughs> no, no, that was true. That was timing. <laughs> that was good timing. Okay, is there anything here? Yes, 
investigate more security footage. And colonial affairs. Okay. This file is useless. Let's check another. And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. Let's check another. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You'd need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Somebody working for Kandros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled. But if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. All right, and there's a two hour timer on this thing, and there's a timer. So I'll be right back with another recording to continue these Nexus missions.